The High Point Wildcats finished last year 16-3, and capturing the North 1 Group 2 sectional championship, but falling in the Group 2 finals to eventual champion South Plainfield. They also finished first in the Freedom Division and had four individual state medalists at the tournament in Atlantic City, two boys and two girls. Returning a number of starters from last year's team, head coach John Gardner, entering his 22nd year, realizes the key to success is blending the wrestlers who have been working all offseason with the ones who haven't had the opportunity. I've been battling the weather a little bit here in the early part of the season, but you know that's, that's something we have to deal with up here at High Point. Um, in terms of work, we've had a lot of kids put in a significant amount, significant amount of time from you know, last season to this season, so we're excited to kind of get them together with some of the guys who, who haven't done that much and, and see, see where things fall. Um, we, made it, we made it through weight certification, so we're, uh, you know, I think we're, we're pretty much on track. We'll see how things go when we finally get to compete on the 21st. A wrestler ready to compete is senior Billy Talmadge, who finished last year fifth at 138. He knows what he wants to pass on to the next generation of high point wrestlers, something that was passed on to him. Um, tradition. Um, we always pass down the tradition and um, they just keep it rolling. In addition to Talmadge, fellow senior Devin Leibel and sophomores Clayton Utter and Brian Saldano should be solid contributors for the team. I really like this Wildcat squad. While they might be a little light up top, I think they're a solid squad and should make some noise. I look for them to finish well above 500, capture the North 1 Group 2 sectional championship, and win the Group 2 championship, and finish first in the Freedom Division. For GardenStateHSWrestling.com, Donald J. Brower reporting.